Prime Minister, let's turn to the economy. You're inheriting an economy that is struggling with um, higher inflation. What's the biggest challenge you face in getting the economy back on track? I reiterate the point, the, the, the first thing that any government should do, and particularly in my administration, is good governance. It is democratic accountability. If you have a system, very clear policies to encourage investments, there's ease of doing business, fast, efficient, and not corrupt. Investors will come in. The previous government set a target of 5.5% for the fiscal deficit. Are you likely to maintain that? We will have to gradually reduce deficit. But it should not be the expense of uh, public welfare, I mean, the poor education, health. So we have to navigate this very carefully. Uh, we are fortunate that the revenue from taxes has increased slightly. And of course, uh, from petroleum and gas also have increased. Um, but our policy in terms of reducing this deficit must continue. What rate is more acceptable to well, you? Well, uh, I'll announce on the budget day 20, <laughs> on the 24th. Uh, there is a GDP target as well of 4 to 5%. Is that a target you will maintain? Well, I'm, I'm more realistic. I, to me, a budget is not a political statement. Yeah? Economics is about facts and data and confidence. Uh, we are quite comfortable from the results of the fourth quarter. And, and though the projections have been more negative next year, I've seen these sort of more positive changes uh, in the last few months, and I hope we can sustain that. So the, um, what to be projected will be announced at that particular time. Four to five percent is achievable then? I would say somewhere around that. You talked about how you need to refill the government coffers. Would you consider GST, which Pakatan Harapan has been against from day one and consistently said it is not necessary as long as you're Prime Minister? Is it off the table? I've never suggested that. I said that GST remains the most transparent and efficient taxation system. The issue is when you have abject poverty, when people do not get even a minimum pay, how do you have a transparent taxation system? You know? Now, if you have uh, enough uh, funds, um, liquidity in the system, then you can say, all right, you can then pass on to the poor. But we don't have that now. So I think um, any responsible leader should not dwell into the issue of taxation until these basic issues affecting the poor and the general people are being dealt with. But I can't discount the possibility once, for example, you raise the income level of the people, okay, 3,000 ringgit, 4,000 ringgit, then you can ex uh, then, then deal with it. Because otherwise, you're taxing everybody, although you can give some uh, compensation in return to the poor, 